Say hello to Christmas song. Merry Christmas. Good Christmas morning. This is probably the last episode of the year. Merry Christmas. We are going to recap the year ever since we start this channel. We also have a giveaway that we paid for. I'm going to pay for it. I haven't even told the people that I want to give the giveaway from to yet. I'm going to let him know tomorrow because I'm going there for dinner. Um, and I'm going to give you all a pair of tickets to Omakase. Didn't film the Christmas dinner with my family. So, um, f*** it or <laughs> Leftover. We have some steak, some soup. I tell you, this one, great ah. It's very hard for me to explain to you what this is, but if you know, your mother slash grandmother is fantastic. We got leftover shepherd's pie, carbonara, potato salad, and these biscuits from Kenny Rogers. So, food finished already lah, to be honest. So he's drinking, and then we are going to open gifts. Yeah! I wonder what my husband buys for me. Yeah. Hong Kong's idea to buy snacks. They can pin him Is it good? Wow. Is it good? Yeah. You like it? Yes! Yeah. Wow. Wow. Then you make a cut. Wow. I love you. Wow. Merry Christmas, Liz. Merry Christmas, Liz. Now time for the adult secret centre. Do you buy for me? I bought a lot. Do you buy for me, Mom? Yes! Do you buy for me? Do you buy for me? <laughs> you better. <laughs> is it turtle? No. <laughs> wow, make it <laughs> I want to buy Star Wars, but the next day I go two hours. No, you want to buy Mickey Mouse, I'm very sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is it comfortable? Or yeah. oh, you prefer Star Wars? You look like you're breathing there. Mom, your turn. Next below. Ah, got another one. Oh, what are you doing? You're going traveling. Yeah, oh. yeah, thank you. You're going to go. It's a Korean one, Korean one. So, wow. uh, the... She's telling a sexy young woman that she needs to put step one, step two, step three, step four, <laughs> yeah. okay, no, this one we even buy a very expensive one. Oh, very expensive one? Ah. You don't think it's free gift, but I don't think it's free gift. You can put that. 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 You can put I'm sorry, your kids are expensive. Yeah, you know, mommy told me after today you are going to lose you. Are you? You. I think you as my brother. Wrong! What? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but is it a body shop gift set? If it's a body shop gift set, she will no. see it. I tell you first. This one is your personal. You are so funny. Yeah! For four? It's your make coffee? For us. Yes! It's a insulated cup. Oh! Thank you! Yeah, we're going to Thank you! Uh, okay, so now it's down to the two of us. This is uh, how a dink life look like. We just spend Christmas uh, together every every year. Every year since we were 18. By ourselves. No lah, no, I think when we were younger, my family would count down, but now they will go back 11. Yeah, then it's just left with the two of us now. But I appreciate also, I appreciate. Yeah. It's a good life. Alright, I gotta give you your gift. Uh, please don't expect too much because every year we don't know what we want for Christmas and I think we are very very blessed. We have everything we need already. So whatever that comes um, on top of it is a bonus. Okay? Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I gave my husband an idea of what to buy me. <laughs> yeah, I really love it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what to buy. But I saw a very nice pair. We know how difficult it is to buy for us, right? Because we all cannot even buy for each other. It's a very nice colour. Hey, photo. Let's get. Oh wow! Isn't it really nice? It's really nice. What? I saw it, I'm like, I'll just go buy it first and see. Okay, can you buy me shoe? Let me run away. You see the side, you see the lace, you see this part, it's some textured thing. Yeah. Right, and it's green. I like it. I bought 9.5. Correct. Okay. Okay, let me open my. So, John went uh, to shop for this alone, and um, he had trouble looking for something for me. Wow! 
with a bit of hair. But do you like this design? Friend? I like. I really like. Would you I prefer a it. circle? No. He bought me a necklace. Cannot see. A necklace. This is not diamond, right? Um, I don't know what is it, but it's very close to diamond. Got a set of earrings as well. You see. I'm wearing this for Christmas tomorrow. It's so pretty. Thank you. I love it. This one, when I went to the website, this was the first thing I saw. But then I asked all the girls in my office, right? Mm. They don't like this. Because age gap lah, I feel. No, age you know gap. why they say this is not for you? They say it's nice, but mm. it looks very young. Did you all say that? Did you all? I won't say who, but thank <laughs> for the for the help. <laughs> when you all see this video, it's probably almost Happy New Year. Anyway, we went to church. Um, we had a great... Um, dinner party last night. I'm very excited to eat the leftovers. Yeah, it's how good the dinner party was last <laughs> night. And and I think I did an IG story on Christmas Eve. I don't know whether y'all saw on what are your plans and I think it's very easy to be enamored by the fact that oh my god everybody seems to be doing something really fun and you might feel really alone during the festive period. I want you to know that it's Christmas and we are wandering around so it's not always the case that you have parties and all. Yes. The two of us really enjoy being with ourselves. But I don't know you know and I mean and I, last time I very insecure one when before I really suss out whether pet okay to know or not, right? <laughs> I always like wonder, oh, does she feel like yeah, why you always never make plans, one? Um, I, I think sometimes when we have friends over, of course we enjoy the company. Yeah, okay, we, we are having a friend over later. But ne yeah, and next week we have a few parties. But I think some people feel FOMO la. Where are we going? We're going to Ikea. 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 Oh, you, you pink, you don't break my heart la. Don't break my heart. What are your honest thoughts um, on having to film every weekend for the couple channel? Actually, I'm quite excited, like, honestly. I feel, okay, other than the part that sometimes we will quarrel because of our thoughts maybe not aligned or maybe I cannot think properly of what I want to say, but it created communication, lor, I feel. Like, there, there were some things that I didn't know about our relationship. Then, uh, yeah, and then revisited some of the the quarrels that we have, we rehash things. But tired is tired lah, because we need to spend maybe one day of our weekend just to do this. Right. Tell me about this beautiful home you are in. Whose house is this? Okay, so uh, currently I'm waiting for dinner. I just bought a very beautiful flower over here as the flower base. Um, yeah, where are you going? <laughs> do you feel very frustrated filming with me given that I have no experience in this and you are a content creator? <laughs> a bit, a bit. I feel like where the key difference is that because I've been doing this for so long, it's not that I'm frustrated with you, it's that to me, uh, the starting of the couple channel uh, is a slight one step further as compared to like the 10 other channels I've ever built in my life. Yeah. You know? This one is about our relationship. 99% of the filming takes place at our home. Yeah. And so to me, it's, it's also very high stakes. If this channel sucks, to be honest, then I think it's a true reflection of me, I, I, feel, I feel like I see it as a reflection of me also. Mm. And so in the building of this channel, I want to make sure that we always deliver value. So like for example, right, there was one thing that like I told Pat I had to reshoot for the SQ1, right? Was that the summary, right, for the episode <laughs> is that, okay, so thank you for watching. Who should join SQ? Okay, so if you like to travel, maybe you will like SQ. Then to me, it's like... <laughs> Common sense, ah. <laughs> okay, sure. Please get out of this area. No, please get out of this area. You are like invading the chaos. Minutes, what do you think is the biggest gain you have from this channel this year? I think for me, right? What? It's easier to communicate to people who are interested to find out on the things that we are doing. Because throughout the year, I think we each receive um, some DMs on the things that we are doing, on the things that we are using, on about our life, about our relationship. I feel that the channel was a good platform to mm. share about that. I quite like, I mean, it's not very uh, I quite like being recognized together. Oh! Yeah, I think last time what annoyed yeah, or what annoyed me actually is that when when people say hi, then they take photo, right? Then they pass their they pass their phone to Pat and ask Pat to take the picture. I don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah, which we, we don't, don't mind, mind. It's just um, as a husband, then it feels terrible, la. <laughs> but people know him more, la, Of course, la. That's a daily catch up, then. Ten ten pan chè. Oh. <laughs> what else are we looking for? Chè. Chè. Okay. I really like this very slow paced channel. You oh. know, I like. 
like we're not trying to be funny. There's a lot of things that I've been wanting to really sit down and share, which mm. I think is very valuable. Mm. And but because the other one is always tied to other KPIs, right? Mm. There's no KPI on zero. We just talk about yeah. and everything. So I, I think it allows me to share deeply and sit down and really think about what is it I want to talk about. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Do you think you will try to revive your plant in 2024? <laughs> I'm damn close. <laughs> to I'm what? damn close to buying this plant. The, the fake one? Right. It's okay. Do you feel like having Christmas with a kid will be very different? I'm sure. Better I worse? I feel better la. If Christmas is a season to feel very loved and you will feel like you want to give your child the best and only the best. And then you want to spoil your kids also. Like you want to... I don't know eh, I think But you can a, spoil me ah. I can! I'm spoiling you ah. Am I not? Yes. Spoil already, you really spoil it. Okay, so we're gonna do separate recap or highlights of our 2023. This year I feel that I'm a lot happier in terms of um, my mental health and I am really trying to um, mentally tell myself to put away or not think about things that don't really matter like put less emphasis on it and I think um, I'm almost there and this year I started to work out a lot more the later part of the year lah. so I signed up for BFT and I told myself that I want to be more consistent because if I decided not to have kids uh, talk more about that later um, then I ought to take care of myself better because if not who is going to take care of us next time and yeah I think my my 2023 has been great I don't regret anything I traveled I traveled with my mom I brought her on a holiday and John also brought his parents on a holiday and I think we have did our part this year one of the biggest highlights of 2023 is that um, I went through egg freezing so I froze my eggs because I was afraid that I might regret on the idea of not having kids and in the past few months um, we did try naturally but unfortunately we didn't have any good results and it didn't it didn't hurt me as much as before so it made me realize that maybe I have come to terms with not having kids if you change your mindset a little and think in a different direction that not everyone is fated to have a kid or not is not everybody's blessing to have a child then it, it kind of made me think in a different um, light lah. so with that i think um the egg freezing is to just have a safety net and if you have thoughts about going for egg freezing and worry about the pain I tell you, it's not that painful as you think it is. It's really very minimal as long as you pinch enough of your, your fats around your tummy. It's okay one, it's really okay one. And the surgery is so short. Alright, so the takeaway from my highlights is that if you are a person like me, not sure of whether you want to have kids or not, lessen the burden on yourself. Lah. Like, don't see it as a task. Don't see it as a social norm that everyone needs to follow. So this year, one of the, the best quote I've heard from Uncle David, which is John's barber, was that it's also a blessing not to have kids. And, and I really had that in mind. Then I just tell myself, yeah, it's a blessing not to have kids. And slowly, I am trying to see the perks of it. And I hope you will too. So when you talk to us outside, uh, Messi, um, I think that this year, a lot of the things that I truly remember were well, in terms of the relationships that I've made this year. I think this year I made a lot of good friends, found a lot of good people in my life that I hope that will stay in my life for a long time to come. I also think that a lot of the stuff I've done in business, I think what I've tried to do this year is to make sure that I can have a company that can continue to grow without me. Not because I, I plan to uh, leave the company anytime soon, but more of I want to see if the company can take on a life of its own and then for me to build something just as big or if not bigger to kind of double up the company a bit. And I think this year I've been the most intentional I've ever been in this endeavor. 
I don't know whether my team feels it, but to be honest, I've been seeing the results and I'm, I'm really very happy with it. And I think it has done a lot for my mental health as well, in terms of uh, provisioning for, for experiments and failures of the people in my company. I also brought my parents overseas and last year when I sold the company, I told my parents, anywhere on the world, right, you choose, then we go. And my mom chose Finland, um, which I was quite excited for because I also always wanted to go to Finland. Um, but then she had double knee surgery and so we, ch we had to change it to a city, la, so a bit more knee friendly. Um, so that was that and then probably next year we're going to do my dad's bucket list, I don't know where that is. I think this year what's very exciting for the both of us is that we have a new house and I think we love our space. Love. I think we have learned to love each other a little bit differently in this space. One of my favourite takeaways, right, mm. from this channel is hearing from you guys how much y'all benefited from this channel. Yeah. And I think we are very, very honoured, right? I mean, I personally super, super honoured, right? When I saw there was a repetition of comments of like, that we are their internet parents. Ah. And I super... I really like it, leh. like, because, you know, in content creation, there's also a shelf life. Mm. And I've been doing this for a long time from, I don't know whether y'all got to see this show called After Hours. That was my first time on screen. Yeah. And even before that, I was already in YouTube, um, mm. working with KK. Y'all remember KK from Babe of All Trades? Mm. Um, that channel was what uh, I started my, my career on, lah, building her channel. And then all the way to today, right? It has been such a ride. And I'm really grateful that like this life that we have lived can help people and and so thank you very much for all the wonderful comments that y'all leave us in mm. these videos they mean a lot to us especially the um oh, not especially but also the dms that come to us on instagram where y'all tell us that y'all really appreciate that we are doing this i think for me oh when i share about the pregnancy and stuff right and some of the comments um made me feel a bit more certain about myself because sometimes you're not sure that whether all the wives or all the women out there think like that Mm. So having a platform like that out there, airing our thoughts and uh, when I see the comments, we really read through one by one, one, okay? And we really try and reply all. Yeah, it makes me feel like there are people with me and I'm not alone in this journey. And I'm very, I'm very, very heartened to know that people actually makes the effort to talk to us. Lah. Yeah. Mm. Also, I want to take this note to show lah, that today is Christmas Day. Yes. We are at home, it's just... Nobody! Okay, okay we got a friend coming over later. Five month person. But... It's just us. Yeah. So if you felt like you spent Christmas alone and no one loves you in this life or whatever fuck nonsense that you're feeling and tell yourself, snap out of it. Get, Don't think like that. It's not, like, like, this is the reality of it. Um, a lot of my friends are just staying at home also. They are napping. They're having afternoon naps, which is the magic of Christmas. Yeah. Having afternoon naps on Monday. It's a privilege. I honestly not sure if this channel is good for our relationship yet. <laughs> the people warned us before that yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a very slippery, a slippery road. Because it might make us quarrel more. No, I think it's more of like if we divorce or whatnot, or one of us like one day have a cheating case, then you'll just become higher profile, you know? I I, I say first, I won't show on you, you will show on me. We wouldn't know what the eh one lah, yeah. No, but every, everybody think they won one, you know. So we do, maybe but it's you, I think. Mm, no. I want divorce you one. Okay, let's go. Same. Okay. This channel has been something that I have discussed with John Paul and even Dan for for a long time already, many many months, maybe a year or even more because I think there are a lot of things that you know I share with them in my personal life that I hope that they don't have to make the same mistakes as me or and or just to be wary or careful of certain pitfalls in life and there are certain things that I do share with my company that they feel like um, you know let's create a channel that you can talk and I'm like no no I don't have enough of these these things that I can just like share you know and and so when the they mooted the channel of, I think it's, it's time for Pat and I to create a channel together. That was what we really wanted to do, you know, not just mine, but with Pets as well. And then not just from the past, by drawing from our present and our future um, adventures as well. Episode one of this vlog uh, is not even what we filmed. I think we can do three episodes because we're trying to figure out what format that will be. The and dynamics also. La. Yeah, and we knew to be able to bring um, you guys into our lives, it, it cannot be um, our videographer follow us around and there's a producer that's always asking us questions. We knew that then it will it will always feel like at arm's length, you know? Yeah. And we wanted to create something that's a bit more 
personal. Yeah, something that feels that brings us closer. Relatable. And so this is what the channel is. But for the first three months after we, oh no, for the first like two months after we we figured the format right, which is honestly us with this camera. There's only one camera uh. <laughs> in the filming of all these vlogs. Uh, we just bring one camera around. We pass here, pass there, pass here, pass there, right? <laughs> Sometimes use handphone, top top here and there. Ah. During the first two months, it was hell for me. Eh. I feel like I work very hard in the weekday. And then during the weekends, right, I just want to know. Ah. I really just want to know. Ah. But to be able to like, make time and get into the hit space. Yeah. To talk about the very heavy things that we want to talk about, like our biggest fights, like talking about finances, you know. Stuff like that, it requires you to get into some form of hit space, right? And then it was also during the weekends. So it, then after that, on Tuesday, so Monday we go from home and on Tuesday I quickly pass to the editors, the editors of us edit. Shout out to the editors. Oh god, what's going on? And then shit like this happened. <laughs> which I'm very grateful for. But please, not now brother. Then trying to figure out lighting, trying to figure out traffic noise from outside. <laughs> uh, trying to figure out the tone of voice that Pat and I should speak in. Because Pat is also very not used to creating content in the journey that you think process are. Uh. Well, we keep fighting like, and then we're not fighting like, it's just we, we keep having small arguments, right? Then I super no mood, you know? Then the super no mood because I beat Pig Chick, right? Then the Pig Chick made me unable to film anything, eh? Like, I just, I'm like, sorry, I, I, need, I need 10 minutes. I, I, I need 20 minutes. And we don't want to be fake about it, you know? And so, I don't want to film when I'm too lan or whatnot, especially if it's, it's touching on romance. Mm. Neither do I want to film us quarreling like that's so stupid, right? I okay, so from, from how I see it, right? Mm. I am not thinking that you know how far this will go, not in a very business mindset, but with these sharings, I hope to look back like five years later and be like, oh when I was 33, we started this channel and we did this, 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 this. It feels like a journal to me, yeah. So maybe that's why I'm not so I'm not in the right head space to think of. You know, yeah, you are thinking that only you will watch. You are yeah. filming this for yourself to watch. Correct. Yeah, so so then to me, uh, wow, very, it's like, oh my god, babe! This year, I think I was a bit more intentional in living the ding life. I want to say it was very stressful because I think, okay, we are hyper-privileged people, mm. um, but we are not extra rich or whatnot, you know? And so, we are we are comfortable, like, very, very comfortable. And so having a child and knowing that there might be a child and the life we want to give that child, right? I was always on this frantic, I need to save and invest and this money cannot touch, cannot use, cannot travel, cannot anything. And I don't mind like, because to be honest, I don't need things and I don't... I see, it's not I don't like to travel, it's just... Let it all to me, travel is just going to see another thing. Uh. Same, same shit. Like to me, a weekend at home, uh, same shit, same shit. This year, I mean, after... After pets, Ovary stuff, right? After we like know more about it, mm. after we've had more discussions about it, then we realize, okay, there's a good chance that we're not gonna have kids. Yeah, I think the realization came when there were a few months where we had unprotected sex, and the thought of knowing that you I'm see, going you, to have you a feel child like it's for yourself to watch again. <laughs> Tell them what? about the sex. How was it? So like, when I thought of doing the pregnancy test or like missing my men's, my period, right, I got a bit nervous. And then that's when I know, right, hey, I think I don't want ready lah. Mm. And yeah. I think for me, I mean, okay, I, I've always wanted to be prepared to have or not to have. No, I've always been prepared to have. Yes. Because to have is where all the additional expenditure and lifestyle changes come in. Mm. Um, but I think this year, I took one small step in acting like we are not going to have. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's why we were a bit more liberals in the in the trips that we book. Mm. Yeah, in how, for example, how we lay out this house. Yes. Well, we want to know. We, the guest room is a queen size bed. <laughs> not, not for a kid. Yeah, no baby room. And then next year, I just plan like big holidays. Like we're going to Turkey, we're going to Iceland. Yeah. And yeah, Which we're very excited for. Very. And to, <laughs> I will bring you all on this journey with us. Yeah. And um, going... And, and I want to say this is a big step for me because... I, I really don't like to spend money. I don't think you don't like to spend money, but you don't like to spend money frivolously. If we don't have a kid, actually you also won't spend, you, you wouldn't have the thought of going to Turkey or Iceland until I say one. So you to know? me, this is me taking a step to make you happy. Yes, yeah. and I appreciate that. To, and I could tell. 
because she really like you know she really like traveling yeah and so it's always that balance and i've come to the conclusion that if we are not going to have a child or children that i still need to make her happy without the child mm. for example we look at our friends that are blessed with children right yeah and of course they love their life and they wouldn't change a thing because mm. they're happy with their child and all that stuff but what are their trade-offs right what do they want to do that they don't get to do those are the things that are making a bigger effort that we must do yeah because if not then we we live our entire life in vain and we completely never do anything eh. mm. yeah and that's our journey to our dink life and I think now we are more firm than ever lah. Oh, yes. She always on the fence, on the fence. But I think one leg put down. Eh? Yes, one, one leg put down. Eh? So we're going to be a bit more intentional in thinking this out, which means more adventures, mm -hmm. more trips, uh, more memorable moments as opposed to wait, waiting at home. For See, the miracle baby to come. <laughs> for, uh, just in case the baby come, then we oh shit, we need to renovate again. <laughs> so our plans for 2024. In 2024, there'll be solo content. <laughs> Like what? Basically, there will be videos that will be taken by just me and there will be videos that will be taken by just Pat. Huh? I'm so bad at that eh. No, no, no. no. You will get better. And these are okay. times where there is a certain concept that we just kind of really want to share. Okay. I got a lot planned now, okay? Um, we are also doing travel content. Yay! But we are still bringing this camera only. <laughs> don't think we got one drone or like, don't have ah, uh, don't have. Don't have those very picturesque, ah, no, right Have like, we'll try like, pull like, it, like, like, like. <laughs> Okay? Um, that's our plan. And also, we, this year we started our channel by uploading once every week. Mm. Moving forward until further notice, we will probably upload once every two weeks. <laughs> it's so tiring already. Yeah. So that, we can have breaks, more life to live, so mm. that we have more life to share. Mm. Okay, so thank you very much for being part of our journey. Thank you. Uh, we have a giveaway, which we will show you what it's about now. <laughs> and so we are on the way to one of our very favorite dinner places in Singapore. Oh my gosh! We go a million times today, we're still very excited. Um, yes. We are bringing a couple of friends there as well. And this is also the same place that we want to blanja two of you to dinner. So you stay tuned for the giveaway. Excites? Excite, I tell you. Why is it so nice? Thanks, thanks. Be so long. So right, there's only one omakash in Singapore. I know it's omakase lah. Huh? That I'm so excited for. We eat this a thousand times really. Yes, and yes, we yes. are still very excited every time we come. He don't give you any bullshit. He yeah, gives yeah. you the real deal. God. Got smoke ah, then got a lot of dry eyes. <laughs> then got the flour you can eat. Then they go and import some LK CV stick at the side, but I cannot eat one. This one don't have. Zero. None of that shit. You know some they feed you, then they play with you, don't have. Yeah. They don't have. Basically, I think he has distilled what Singaporeans like. Yeah. No bullshit. And then no frills, no bullshit. Then this good is price. It. And very good price. good price. Um, which is why we are doing a giveaway on real sushi. And we're gonna give a we're gonna give one viewer a pair of dinner tickets here and he doesn't even know because we are paying <laughs> so I'm gonna contact you I'm gonna get your dates and I'm gonna book and pay for you well, the plan is this uh, we are gonna give away one pair of uh, dining experience at Rio Sushi thank you very much okay. so I don't know how to coordinate this uh. so the plan is I will just call you <laughs> then we make a booking now <laughs> then I pay now you no okay the giveaway is secured yes Hey, I don't know whether y'all saw the episode or didn't catch up when I talk about Japanese food. Then I talk about this. But I'm talking about this f***ing yeah. pepper shit. Okay. <laughs> it's so, Im it's not so impractical eh. Why? Why cannot just do the sugar one? No. No, no, brother. No, no. It's not romantic. Respect people culture again. Yeah. People culture. Yeah. We are home and with that, we have come to the end of this video and to score the dinner experience at Rio Sushi, you gotta be subscribed, you gotta like this video and tell us in the comment section which, which one of our video you enjoyed the most and tell us why. Yes. Thank you very much for being part of our journey. We hope you Thank follow you. us on our Instagram as well. 
and we hope to be part of your lives in 2024. All the best is the giveaway! Happy New Year! Happy New Year!